um, I think the next replay I'm gonna show is against uh, a rockin' with balloon arrows and zap and I'm using Dupo Expo so yeah, um, this matchup I always like to go Expo same lane as Lava Hound. The reason why I don't go Expo off lane because if they have Inferno Dragon, like I can't like help kill the Inferno Dragon, like use Archers or Tesla. Or it's like I won't have like stuff to kill his Lava Hound. So if I go Expo off lane, I mean same lane, I can go Archers and go like Skeleton or Ice Spirit to track the Inferno Dragon. And he's gonna have to force Alexa to kill uh, Archers or else like it's gonna help kill his Lava Hound still. And he might not have enough for Balloon. So I just cycle archers first because I know he's gonna have arrows, so I can cycle back to another one if I need to. And yeah, uh, I just got fireball just to kill the minions, and accidentally pushed it uh, to the tower still. But I think it's only one hit. Yeah, it's fine. I just go skeletons on the miner. Yeah, I'm gonna take some damage, but honestly, it's not that bad. I just go expo immediately because I have a Tesla up, so I feel like if he goes for dragon, like it's gonna die to Tesla. So I just go archers for the first dragon. I'm just getting more damage and forces out arrows, so that's good. Yeah, uh, as long as you have like 1,500 damage on your tower, um, a single is fine. You can still come back against Lava Hound and double. So I just go Knight just to track, so I don't take too much damage from the front dragon, and it's fine since he has to waste three elixir for the minions. I just go E Spirit for it. And yeah, if they Lava Hound first play and you don't have like Expo in hand immediately, like don't try to cycle like a bunch of cards just to get to it, because like. Um, well, just to play safe, uh, you don't want to lose your tower against Lava Hound. Like it's gonna be hard in a one one situation. You never want that against like any deck. I can't really think of a deck that's like good in a one one situation. Up there probably isn't. So I just go Expo uh, when he Lava Hounds just to make sure just to take his tower. And he goes Bomber, so yeah, I just go Archers just to kill it, make sure my uh, Expo take his tower. And he has to go Arrows as well. So like he does have the Blue immediately. I just go Tesla down low. Uh, this is the furthest, like, it's gonna pull the balloon if they play it at the usual placement. Uh, so I didn't really expect to defend this, to be honest. Um, I just go to the Fence Expo, and then, yeah, I don't auto-spend any elixir. The towers target the miner, and I'm just waiting for the lava hound to pop, and it just fireball. So you still have to deal with the tower. Uh, so I just go Tesla when I have full elixir. So I was just thinking of like going archers up high because I know he has arrows so I'm not trying to give him tower damage as well. So I just go archers really high and I just to cycle to my fireball just to kill his minions so my archer stays alive. And I know the balloon got pushed back so I have to like Tesla like one tile to the right than usual. And I go knight and e-spirit to make sure the miner doesn't get too much damage. Yeah our tower gets to 163 HP. He goes Barmer, I don't want to go expo immediately. And I'm not sure like if uh, arrows did enough, but either way I was gonna win. I just go skeletons for minor. And yeah, um, like even if he took my tower, he was like zero elixir, so like Max was gonna get a ton of damage. And yeah, a really nice 35 trophies. And I guess it's a matter of if you're like low on elixir, like not that low on elixir, but like if you also like have a bad hand, you can activate King Tower and you can just zero for fireball for them lava pups if they def try to like minor your tower as well. So yeah, 